Welcome to the Mathematics MI channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate uh, integral from 0 to pi over 3 natural log of sine of x dx. So, uh, I saw, uh, I evaluate this integral uh, by two methods. So, uh, first method, I am going to use Fourier series. So, uh, we know uh, integral from 0 to pi over 3 Fourier series of natural log of sine of x is equal to uh, minus natural log of 2 minus infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n times cosine of cosine of 2 n x here uh, d x okay then uh, now we can split this integral into two different integrals so uh, here na minus natural log of 2 is a constant so minus natural log of 2 then integral from 0 to pi over 3 dx so we know x limit 0 to pi over 3 then uh, minus now we have uh, integral sign and also uh, sigma notation so we can write uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity here uh, 1 over n then integral from 0 to pi over 3 cosine of 2 n x dx okay then uh, here if we plug in pi over 3 we know uh, minus pi over 3 minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 if we plug in 0 we know 0 so here now infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity here 1 over n now uh, integral from 0 to pi over 3 cosine of 2 n x so we know sine of sine of 2 n x over 2 times n limit uh, from 0 to pi over 3 okay then uh, we can plug in uh, this limit so here minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 minus infinite sum 1 to infinity here 1 over n here 2 times n so 1 over 2 times n square then if we plug in pi over 3 we know here we have sine of 2 n pi over 3 okay then uh, I'm going to expand this series so we can write minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 minus now I'm going to take uh, first terms of this series so uh, we can plug in first one so if we plug in one here we have sine of 2 pi over 3 here 2 so we know square root of 3 over 4 then I'm going to plug in 2 so if we plug in 2 sine of uh, you know 4 times pi over 3 minus square root of 3 over 2 so here 8 8 times 6 2 so 16 so here minus 3 over 16 then if we plug in 3 here we know 0 uh, then if we plug in 4 uh, here we know the square root of 3 over 64 uh, then um, if we plug in 5 uh, here uh, also we know square root of 3 over 100 okay then uh, I am going to rearrange this series uh, like minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 then uh, we know uh, the square root of 3 over 4 is a cons uh, factor so square root of 3 over 4 here now 1 so I am going to write 1 over 1 square minus 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 4 square minus 1 over 5 square plus so on uh, then um, as the next step uh, minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 
then I am going to write minus square root of 3 over 4 and I am going to take uh, 1 over 1 square plus 1 over 4 square plus so on and also we can take square root of 3 over 4 as a common factor then here we have 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 5 square plus so on okay then uh, now uh, this series uh, we can represent by using sigma notation so now uh, we know this is equal to minus 5 over 3 natural log of 2 then here uh, square root of 3 over 4 uh, we can write this series uh, infinite sum n is equal 0 to infinity uh, 1 over uh, common term you know 3n plus 1 so 3n plus 1 square uh, then here uh, plus square root of 3 over 4 uh, sum of n is equal 0 to infinity 1 over 3n plus 2 square okay then uh, I'm going to uh, use trigamma function therefore uh, here also minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 now uh, here square root of 3 now I am going to take uh, 3 as a common factor so 3 square so 9 so 9 times 4 we know 36 so square root of 3 over 36 sum of n is equal 0 to infinity here we have now 1 over n plus 1 over 3 square then here also the square root of 3 over 36 uh, sum of 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 2 over 3 square okay then uh, we know um, we can uh, represent trigamma function uh, as an infinite series. Uh, we know this formula 0 to infinity 1 over uh, c plus n square. So we can write uh, this is equal to minus pi over 3 natural log of 2. Here we can simplify. Uh, 3 times 12 square root of 3 get cancelled so 1 over 12 times square root of 3 and now here we have trigamma function so we know this is equal to n 1 over 3 so uh, trigamma of 1 over 3 trigamma of 1 over 3 uh, then uh, plus here also 1 over 12 times square root of 3 uh, try gamma of 2 over 3 okay then um, minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 then I am going to take uh, 1 over 12 times square root of 3 as a common factor so we have uh, try gamma of 2 over 3 minus try gamma of 1 over 3 okay this is the answer and uh, we have uh, okay we have uh, used also a closing function uh, so if you want you can also simplify still simplify we know uh, the special value of try gamma function try gamma of 2 over 3 and try gamma of 1 over 3 so I am going to write here tri gamma of 1 over 3 is equal to uh, 2 over 3 5 square plus 3 times square root of 3 so CL2 closing function 2 pi over 3 and also uh, tri gamma of 2 over 3 uh, 2 pi square over 3 
minus 3 times square root of 3 cl2 2 pi over 3 now here we have uh, trigamma of 2 over 3 minus trigamma of 1 over 3 so uh, we should subtract this so we have now uh, we know this is equal to minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 plus 1 over 12 times square root of 3 here we have uh, if we subtract this this term get cancelled minus 3 times uh, this term minus so minus 6 so we can write minus 6 times square root of 3 uh, close and function uh, close and of 2 phi over 3 okay now uh, this is square root of 3 get cancelled and also this 6 get cancelled and now we have uh, minus phi over 3 natural log of 2 uh, here minus 1 half uh, cl2 of 2 pi over 3 okay this is the required answer and uh, we solved uh, this integral by using uh, Fourier series now uh, we are going to uh, solve uh, using another function another method so uh, now I am going to use uh, Lobachevsky function so we know uh, Lobachevsky function uh, theta uh, is equal to this is equal to uh, we can represent uh, Lobachevsky function uh, as an integral log sine integral and also uh, using Clausen function so here minus 0 to theta 0 to theta natural log of natural log of 2 times uh, sine of t uh, dt and this is equal to 1 half cl2 2 times theta okay this is uh, one of uh, definition uh, of Lobachevsky function so uh, now uh, we should simplify so here uh, minus now uh, according to property of natural log we can uh, simplify this uh, integral from 0 to theta natural log of 2 dt then here minus so again minus integral from 0 to theta natural log of sine of t dt is equal to 1 half cl2 2 times theta okay then um, we need to natural log of sine of t so i am going to isolate this integral so here 0 to theta natural log of sine of t dt uh, is equal to minus minus uh, here nat natural log of 2 uh, integral from 0 to theta uh, dt then again minus 1 half cl2 of 2 theta okay then uh, here uh, theta instead of theta now I am going to set theta is equal to uh, pi over 3 so we can write 0 to pi over 3 natural log of sine of t dt is equal to uh, minus natural log of 2 here we know uh, t uh, 0 to pi over 3 so minus pi over 3 natural log of 2 minus 1 half cl2 here 2 times pi over 3 well we are done and also uh, we know the famous integral we have uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of t dt so if we use uh, uh, Lobachevsky function we can write integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of x dx is equal to here uh, minus 
pi over 2 so minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 minus 1 half uh, cl2 here now we have 2 times pi over 2 to get cancelled so pi now we know about closing function uh, closing of uh, any uh, integer we know 0 so this is equal to 0 and minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 okay thank you for watching